Yo, what is YouTube is in today's video guys? Uh, we're here with a pretty cool video and in today's video We are gonna be talking about hidden cards that can make you loads of uh, MT profit on the NBA 2K20 auction house so uh, Today I'll be showing you a few of the best cards that uh, you can find for cheap and flip for giant giant profits now guys, where I'm coming from is, in this is the fact that if you go to some old sets, right, even though their best card's only an Amethyst, and they're, and you can turn them all in for 25 tokens, so a lot of people want these cards to, you know, turn in for the tokens. So guys, as you can see, this uh, Carmelo Anthony's price is a little bit elevated for, you know, an Amethyst because, you know, he doesn't, you know, you know what I mean, right? Uh, so, but yeah, basically every one of these old throwback sets that turns in for tokens uh, has uh, one or two or maybe even three players that have elevated value and some people, you know, will post them up for their regular normal price like 2k and then you can flip them for 11k and that's some easy, easy profit. So yeah, let's go. So I'm just going to show you some of the best cards today, but you guys can go around looking for other cards. Uh, that are worth coins. So first, let's start off with this Dwayne Wade section. The two main cards in this Dwayne Wade section are uh, this Carmelo Anthony, who goes for about like 10, 11 k. Uh, you can try and bid on them for just small profits. That one I unfortunately lost. And then, guys, the main one here is Udonis Haslam, who goes for around uh, 40 k. So if you can bid on him for thirty, like thirty-five k or less, it's a pretty decent snipe. None right now, though. Uh, yeah, most of the other cards are at a pretty reasonable price. Uh, guys, in this Paul Pierce one, uh, try and snipe for just the golds. So you can either try and bid snipe them, or you can try and uh, buy out, snipe them, or whatever. But as you can see, this Zach Levine's price is fairly elevated. Irvin Johnson has quite an elevated price as well. And uh, Leon Powell. So guys, you can actually filter all three of these cards if you just go uh, Spotlight Series uh, Kevin Garnett. Uh, gold and if you filter them for around I'd say like do 3k you can snipe them all out also guys you can bid snipe I like bid sniping just because it requires less patience and less time uh, the next set that awards tokens is uh, spotlight Clyde Drexler the main player here is Brandon Roy looks like he's going for about probably 70k I'm just gonna do that to be safe so if I can bid on this guy for 40 something K and I can resell him for 75 K that is huge profit so I'm gonna bid on that Brandon Roy really quickly uh, the other cards with elevated price here are actually yeah, the golds in the set also have elevated price uh, especially this Michael Thompson uh, he has very elevated price James Edwards is kind of elevated and uh, this last guy over here I don't know if fat lever but definitely, guys, try and snipe out these uh, these golds in this set and Brendan Roy. So target those by, you know, running a gold filter. So again, guys, just do uh, golds for Clyde Drexler, and I'd say filter to maybe about 4K. And then if you just want to target this Michael Thompson, uh, filter to about 15K. And then obviously Brandon Roy is up there in price. This next one, guys, is Spotlight Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, first off, guys, you can try uh, Rolando Blackman. Uh, other cards with uh, elevated price down here are some of the lower tier cards. Uh, Brendan uh, Haywood, pretty good price right there. I'm going to bid on him. Uh, Adrian Griffin. Pretty good uh, card right there. Uh, even this Steve Nash, guys, has some pretty good price. So if you can uh, get one of those for cheap, flip them. Same with Michael Finley. If you can get one of those cheap, flip them. I'm actually going to bid on this one for around 
5k hope that one stands because that will make me lots and lots of profit so yeah those are the main ones for spotlight dark novitsky uh next one that you can try lights out no you can't do that one legacy those are too hard so next one is probably isaiah thomas i'd say this vinnie johnson has a slightly elevated price but overall as far as i'm getting right now guys i don't see many of these uh cards with you know, very elevated price. Like, I've seen slightly elevated price, but nothing crazy, to be honest. So this Isaiah Thomas, I'd say just skip on it completely. There isn't really enough, uh, you know, stuff you can get. Next one is Dwight Howard, guys. That Rashard Lewis is cheap, cheap, cheap. Actually, guys, I'm pretty sure this whole set's going to be pretty cheap because uh, they're still in the token market, right? You can get these packs in the token market. So, I mean... There's probably going to be a few players with slightly elevated price, but no one crazy, I'm pretty sure. So the next set is this Andre Iguodala set. Uh, I'd say this whole top row has slightly elevated price. Al Allen Iverson's about 20k, Draymond's about 7k, Curry is about 7k as well. So, I mean, but here are the main two that have elevated price, Elton Brand has very elevated price. Uh, that's mainly because even though these Andre Iguodala packs are still out in, uh, what do you call it? Even though these cards are still out in the token market, the packs in the token market exclude both this Elton Brand and this Andrew Bogut, who you can see go for bags. So if you sit on uh, Amethysts for the Andre Iguodala Spotlight Series 2, you will probably be making loads and loads of MT just by doing that. Uh, next one, guys, this Kareem set. Uh, you got Gary Payton. He is at a pretty uh, elevated price. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that Gary is the main guy uh, in there. Spotlight Jason Kidd, guys. Uh, Akeem has pretty elevated price. Uh, this Jason Terry, definitely don't go for him. He's actually super cheap. Uh, Vince, though, actually has some pretty high price. So I'm going to, dang it, I'm out of MT, dang. I'll just, you know, slowly but surely dropping some MT in this video. and kind of ran out quickly. But, uh, yeah, that Vince, definitely target that Vince. Uh, in this Flash 2 set, guys, uh, Danny Granger, definitely try and get him. Uh, Josh Smith, not really. Uh, yeah, so for this set, guys, target the Danny Granger for Flash. And uh, yeah, guys, that's all I'm going to go through in this video. But as you guys can see, a lot of these cards have, you know, hidden value. Uh, you know, you can get out, you get, you get outbid a lot, definitely. But I mean, if you just win some of these cards, guys, you can be sitting on, you know, probably like up to 50k MT profits per day. And I mean, everyone wants that, you know, quick profits, you know, whatever. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more gaming content every single day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.